everyone. This is Chala Dinkoy, the CEO and founder of The Repositioning Expert. Welcome to my podcast, Polish My Pitch. I'm here with my good friend, Arjun. Arjun, it's so good to see you. Why don't you introduce yourself as if I am a prospect, which I am. I'm actually a client. <laughs> and uh, tell me what you do within 30 seconds, and I will start our timer. So go Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and and thanks so much for the opportunity again. So if you've used social media scheduling before, you know that a lot of the tools out there, they tend to look very clunky, very old school, but they totally get the job done. You can schedule when, you can schedule where, and you can put the content in. But here's the, here's the gap. It doesn't tell you how you could have done better. It doesn't tell you what you could have done better with the emojis, the hashtags and the graphics and things like that. So imagine using smart technology as super visualized that does automatically everything that I talked about, but also blogging also helps you type anywhere on the internet with emails and newsletters and things of that nature and soon with amazon alexa scheduler you will be able to broadcast directly into the uh, into the homes of your quarantine customers and fans so for someone like you this is a product that is definitely worth it as plus it's worth the price of a, uh, it's it costs the price of a cup of coffee okay awesome thank you well that was good and brief all right thank you. so do i have your permission to polish Yes, polish away, sand away, <laughs> polish away, whatever you need to do, Buff, buffer yeah. it. And <laughs> so I love the fact that you're talking about the pain of that the other's old school clunky uh, software can't tell you what you could have done better. Could you give me the consequence of that? What is the, what is the problem that that solves? Absolutely. Here, here's the issue when when you start when you give people products for viewers that are listening in. What I'm showing, uh, you know, what I'm showing right now on the screen, is a very clunky, linearly designed Excel sheet looking product, right? Which is totally fine. People use it every single day. People use a Bloomberg terminal every single day. But if you're a chef and and child, I don't know if you like to cook a lot or. But if I give you a blunt knife, you're not going to be very happy. If you're a chef of a marquee restaurant, you need the sharpest knife, the most you know cutting edge you know tools at your disposal because you're you care about your passion, you care about your work, right? I love doing carpentry. I love building inventions and doing furniture on the build uh, on well, the weekends. Are you late? I'm going to stop you because you're going to run out of time. We're going to run out of the five. <laughs> I think um, what I'm asking about is the business problem that it solves. And from our conversation prior to, this is what I you, I ended up selling you to my VA, was it saves her time? It saves her time and it does the work for her so she can focus on the storytelling and the creativity aspects, not the grunt work. So is that the number one business, most expensive business problem you're solving? I think so. I think time is something that you definitely can get back, right? And and so if you take a look at this now, I mean, this is now I'm showing viewers uh, or, or, or people who are listening in, it's the ability to save time when you're typing. It automatically completes the sentence for you. We know from studies from Adobe that emojis drive significant uplift and engagement. Are you going to go through 3,000 emojis to figure out what is contextual, what is sentiment, you know, from a sentiment perspective, what makes sense to use? We do all the work for you. Are you going to figure out what's, you know, what hashtags are going to do well with the images you end up using? Again, Again, we do all the work for you and then Wait, Arjun, i have another question mm -hmm. is the bigger problem that you solve most expensive problem better engagement or time saved which is the most expensive one i think it's the i think it's the the timing is the most important saving you that you know that that as a cost okay. but the other thing is the cost of not doing any of this at all especially yeah. today, especially today, if you're not on social, I mean, you know better than anyone, content, content, content is super important, especially when people are, you know, separated and remote and, and online, yeah. not doing it is worse than anything else. Because I, okay, so, but it's, so I'm, I'm going to stop you again, because I'm trying to make the time. Uh, is it pause? Is, is, are you claiming that you make non posters into a poster? Like, Absolutely. Yeah, but is that your the biggest problem you solve or is the bigger problem that you're saving time for the people who are spending money on posting? I would say both because we do know people who one. uh timing. Timing is more important. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> and the reason why I'm being such a bully Arjun. That's okay. I appreciate this. <laughs> is because uh one, you're extremely creative and so knowledgeable that you can really go on. Uh, so but but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get you into a 30 second just, just in focus in, yeah. Yeah, in terms of like a one-liner. So remind mm. me how much time you save. Remember the metric you gave me? 
Yeah, it's 10 hours, a, a minimum of 10 hours a week, which if you're taking the average salary, it's, you know, a couple of hundred dollars a week, a couple of thousand dollars okay. you know, a month. Okay. Yeah. So, um, if, so if I were you, I would mm -hmm. say, and, and I would get a little bit more focused about like, if you had one industry that you wanted to double, triple your sales in, what industry would that be? Podcasting. What is it? Podcasting. Podcasting. Yep. So, but podcasters, so your target would be podcasters. I, I, I would say so. There would be, there would be the people who are using our product. I mean, about 90% of our, you know, whenever I go on a show, the host actually becomes a client. Exactly. All right. So let's say it podcasters now do podcasters as an industry have an association, an organization, a body, like a, a governing body. Uh, I know there are a couple of conferences I, I, there that just happened okay. a couple of weeks ago, but Interview Connections, where we met, actually is a great source of meeting podcasters and uh, as a sales channel. But I think, I think that's something that we need to you know focus in on more. We've been actually, half our revenue has been coming through retargeted ads or paid advertising. Um, so it's right. just about, yeah. Yeah. So what I'm talking about is like for you to actually go out and actually organically build without the advertising. Mm -hmm. Advertising is mm -hmm. great. It's amazing. But for sure. your elevator pitch, but even for your one liner, if you were to be able to target exactly into an audience that self gathers over and over and over mm -hmm. again, that's mm -hmm. the whole dream for you, for me, sure. for you. Sure. Okay. And then, so your elevator pitch would be, um, did you know that we sent that we, um, save minimum 10 hours a week for your, on your, uh, scheduling, which then allows you to save time for the sure. cup of a coffee. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so that truly is like, that is your money make. Well, let your money maker. That is your one liner. Does Got that it. make can, sense? Absolutely. Can you text that to me or email it to me? <laughs> this will be recorded. This will okay. Be recorded. So thank you so much, Arjun. Thanks for being on the show. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ella, for, for your time and, and wish you the very best.